Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe and today we're back with some more LEGO Jurassic World for charity. So just a friendly reminder, the two charities I'm representing this game through four. The first one is called Extra Life for Kids and the other one is called Cure JM for Liam. So as always, I will leave links of both charities in the description of this video down below. So feel free to check out both charities and together we can make the world a better place. Alright, still, still. Can't find Eric. But at the same time, we might have uh, discovered how dinosaurs were being bred. So that could just be a can of worms right there. Alright, how do we move forward here? I feel like we're kind of stuck. Alright, we ended up. Oh. This is where we're being told to go. Never mind. I'm in a complete wrong spot. Oh. Alright, Dr. Grant. Let's dig this up, see what we got. Oh, I need someone to jump over that. That's you, ma'am. There we go. Mr. DNA, Eric and I make Kirby. learning fun. Once a dinosaur egg has been fossilized, it will become hard like rock, but it will retain a structure of its own. That's fine. Oh, in addition to its meat wings, Dimorphodon has set a, set a small wings between the shoulder and the wrist, as well as between its hind legs. Random landline phone, you better answer that. Oh, it's a velociraptor trap. Desky. What in the world? Oh, oh now he's just they set a trap. Them. Yeah, they set a trap. They actually set a trap. <laughs> uh oh. Uh-oh, now you're in trouble. Well, they don't like that. Who are you? Eric's hideout. Is that who we're controlling now? Yeah, I think this, this is Eric, guys. It's not safe. I know a place we can hide. Yeah. This is Eric. We've been looking all over the place for you. Alright, go ahead and uh, get these all wrecked. We can get these studs. Uh oh. Velociraps have a good sense of smell. Some characters, such as Eric, are able to use camouflage to sneak around dinosaurs by holding circle. Okay. 
Ah, here we go. I just got a trophy! Do you think he saw us? Yeah, I got around him. Uh, I got a slight problem, though. How am I gonna get... Oh, no, that's not the same character. Never mind. Or building a hot dog mobile. This should do it. There we go. That'll get the Velociraptor running. We need to keep moving. Yeah, we do. That's safe over here. Okay, let's see. Studs, studs, studs. So many studs. Your shoes are really loud, kid. If you're walking, I'm hearing like clank, 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 clank. Oh, I need Mr. Grant for that. Or Dr. Grant, excuse me. Oh, can I hit this tree? Is this really gonna help us? Yeah, you have to hook it to that tree. Alright, I can do that. You seem to know it all, kid. Here we go. <laughs> Probably pull this thing out. I imagine. Right? Nice. We have an opening now. And I believe this is where you come in. I'll find a way up for you, too. Yeah, please do. Don't think we had to look far. There we go. Come on, quickly! You missed all these studs, Dr. Grant. Come on. You're a seasoned veteran now. I can't jump over that road. Well, that's fine. We can fix Thanks. this. There we go. But now I gotta oh use the vine. Tear down that fence. Uh oh. Oh, there's a loss of rapids right there. Um Aaron. another raptor. We can fix this problem. I don't think I can go that way. Does he not see the studs just flying away? It's pretty funny. Oh! Ouch. Give, uh... Yikes. Give that raptor a shock. Didn't expect that. Alright, it's gone. Yeah, it left. Oh, nice. Blue stud. Ah, uh, can I break this? Now that the raptor's gone? I don't think I can. Never mind. Right, we're gonna go here. Uh oh. It's ill. We can't leave it like this. The raptors will eat it. Alright. We will see what we can do to help it. Um. What can we do? Oh! Blue stud. Alright. I'm pretty sure we gotta just feed it the three random objects. Well, three random items that we had with many other dinosaurs before. 
But uh, I'm wondering if we need to get Dr. Grant first. I'm gonna assume probably. Oh yeah, we need to because there's a dirt pile he needs to dig up. Right. Right here. Alright. Just uh, go ahead and just run down in here and just get these studs. We're about a fourth of the way through. Maybe a little more than that. Or definitely more than that, because I'm just collecting so many of these. It's funny, like, we're searching for Eric, this kid, and he's like the one saving Dr. Grant's butt right now. <laughs> We escaped two Velociraptors. We only have a sick dinosaur. We gotta help this one. Because he probably, in return, will be able to help us move forward. I need him to cut that too, so we need him more ways than I can think. Alright, what can we do? What are we gonna do to help this dinosaur? I got half the amount of studs now, so that's good. Um, break it open more. Actually, this might do it right here. All right, here comes Dr. Grant. All right, there's a pile of poop here. Oh, kid, go play in the poop. What the What in the world? That's a banana. Okay, a banana, a carrot, and a chocolate bar you require. All right, well, one banana coming right up. Here you go. Okay, Dr. Grant, I need you to do two other things. I need you to, well, dig this up down here. So I can almost guarantee you plenty of ingredients is right here. Yep, that's a carrot. Alright, go ahead and give it to the dinosaur. I don't even know what dinosaur this is. Alright, now you just gotta find a chocolate bar. Clearly those existed in prehistoric times. Oh, is it here in the vending machine? Oh, we're pulling a Fonzie. All right, Dr. Grant, didn't realize you were the Fonz. Nice. And just like that, we have a happy dinosaur. You're an Ankylosaurus. Raptors, uh -oh. run! Oh no. We got a problem. Now we got Raptors. Whoa, you did somersault. Very talented dinosaur. Oh, is that all you can do? Oh no, you can you can use your tail. There you are. Alright. There we go. Give you a little whack. Alright, come on. Come on, you raptor. Well, how'd that work out? Oh. Too much for you? Too close. Um, come on, my head out's just for that hole. No, dinosaur, I need you. Ankylosaurus, can you bust through that? I'm gonna see. There we go. And I'm so glad you did. There's a mini kit. Okay. Um, you can feel free to follow us. Looks 
like we're going this way. There's a mini kit right back there. How do I get that? Oh, hey, get out of here. Nope, I don't have the right character. But I guarantee. Oh, sorry. You're saving me. I, you don't deserve to get hit. Alright, blue stud. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got some boxes. And it looks like we'll stuff the build. Can I go. Can I go this way? Oh. Well, maybe eventually. Uh, hold on. There's something to dig right here, too. Let me uh, just see what this is. Because I know we got something to build over there. We have... I don't know what this is. Let's just build it. We have built a scarecrow. Yeah, I see it. Go ahead and build this. Oh wait, there's another pile there. Oh, that's interesting. Right, that's our way across. We just get this before studs disappear. But we build this other scarecrow. Is what I'm presuming it is. Yep, it's another scarecrow. And these dart piles are just randomly showing up. Alright, let's dig this one. And it appears to be a third scarecrow. Sure is. Oh, look at that. That gives us a mini kit. Right, let's go ahead and get across. Thanks a lot, Eric. You know who I am? Your parents are here. They're looking for you. You're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents, uh, invited me along. Be careful with that. T-Rex scares some of the smaller ones away, but it attracts one really big one with a fin. Listen. Copy! Okay. Checkpoint. Those copies aren't too bad on their own. If you meet a group, it's bad news. Luckily, the T-Rex scares them off. That or they just don't like the smell. Yeah, every time we encounter a group of those, uh, nobody seems to want to go anywhere near them. And I see them right there. They're just like... hanging out on that island. It's like waiting for us to come across. Um... I believe we have to go that way. Yeah. Yeah, see, we don't... Yeah, Mr. Grant doesn't want to go near him. I think you need the right more character copies. for that. And we got more copy games coming out. I just got a trophy! Reason to fear man. Nice. Here, let me give you a hint. Some characters such as Eric can target and throw a blank well that looks like that chemical at a T-Rex. Oh, compi hers will scatter if they pick up the scent of a T-Rex. Alright, um you might be my ace in the hole, kid. Nope. <laughs> yep, perfect. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Grant, this is your 
Thank you. I always seem to have trouble getting up this there. There we go. Can I? I don't think I can hit any of those. Um, let's see. Oh, we gotta cut this thing. Oh, look out below. And we got something to build. And I unfortunately do not have the right character to climb that. More compy goons. Get out of here. Okay. Ah! More of them. These guys are kind of staring at me. That was just hanging out there. Now they want to attack. Oh boy. No, oh, what are you doing? Just throw your thing. All right, well. Couldn't get those big pile of studs because uh, the goons would not move. Tons more studs are coming out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost, almost went off the edge there. Yep, I know, that's your cue. Uh, I don't think I can get up there otherwise. Wait a minute, I can. Oh, Mr. Eric! Can you give me a boost, Dr. Grant? Yeah, we can do that. We just, uh, you know, keep these piles all clear. Actually, which way are we supposed to go? Let's try going this way first. I don't know if this is a hard level or if this is a hidden area. Not entirely sure. Oh, no. Oh, we got snakes. And we got a raptor right there. Just looks like just checking out the scenery. Well, I should be able to get by him. And he's just, just checking out the view. Oh, there's a mini kid over here. Nice. Uh, of course. Just lost a pile of studs off the cliff. Don't just don't go near him. I'm surprised, like these animals, whether it's the raptor or if it's the snakes, like they're not sensing Eric just. Cruising right on by. All right, Mr. Grant. Oh, no. Get out of here. Uh, 
Ah. This does just keep falling off the edge. True survivor. All right, kid, I might need you to jump in the poop. Well, I need you to also scare them away. There we go. Doesn't look like I can go further than here. All right, jump in the poop. Find anything good? All right, we can get Dr. Grant up here. Scarecrow. Oh no, it's a telescope. Dr. Grant, there's a boat. Yeah, there's a boat. Right alongside the bank. Looks in good shape. Listen. What? It's my dad's satellite phone. He must have had it when he... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, tough circumstances, but... Oh man. I just got a trophy! Family reunion! Excuse me. And one gold brick for level complete. Alrighty, guys. Well, we finally found Eric. But now. Okay, you don't need that air one anymore. Wow. Eric's right behind you. Anyhow. So, uh, yeah, family's all back together, and now it's just a matter of escaping this, uh, jungle, or this island. So, uh, on that note, guys, I'm gonna actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So, thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of LEGO Jurassic World for Charity here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video, and feel free to leave a comment down below, as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos, or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of LEGO Jurassic World for Charity here in Gotham Lounge, and you guys have a fantastic day. 